future and ab about really what that meant and about what that meant in terms of purchasing low carbon, sustainable, renewable energy. I think that's something that w we, we look forward to speaking about more, but Councillor Grimston, we've had a discussion around renewable versus other sources of energy. And I would like to see within our plan where we talk about renewable energy, to make it really clear that what we're focused on is low carbon energy, because it's about hitting that target. It's about reducing emissions. So we will learn from the feedback we receive, we will execute. And that's the reality. As Councillor Hampton, I thought, articulated very, very well. Um, we're really at the point now where we go beyond the problems being identified and actually get on with things. And that's really, I think, unfortunately, the time with which the Labour Party begins to get a bit nervous. They're very good at identifying problems, not so keen on identifying solutions. And that's why, Councillor Walker, I'm particularly looking forward as your criticism to explore and investigate how you will explain at FCROSS how we will execute on those things where actually it is not possible to do so yet. So is, are, we, are we acting like an emergency or not? I think, I think we are. But where I want to end, and I see your orange light, Madam Mayor, and I respect your red light as well, Madam Mayor. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. Where I want to end is it's about, it's Mr. Evans, it's, it's also about us stepping up to the plate. And that whether that's Councillor Sutters uh, and, her, um, and her plugging, whether it's Councillor Morgan in Thames 21, Councillor Hampton and what she, what, what the recycling that she's um, brought into, in, into play. Or, and may I add, again, when we talk about our residence groups have been, and within the period of indulgence, um, um, or our residence groups and actually supporting them. It's about making it easier for them as well. And that's why I want to give particular mention to the plastic free community in Northcote Road, and, uh, no, which we no, are delighted it. we'll now be able to go ahead that's with it. our support. I that's am wrapping it. up. We are, we are really Thank up for this challenge. Thank we are you. taking action we can. We have 20 million behind it. We have an excellent Thank plan. You. We're going to deliver you. on it. Thank you. Madam Thank Mayor. you. Um, I was, <coughs> I should say, I, I did exclude the first 30 seconds, because you're actually asking me a question about whether you could have extra at the end. So I thought it was a bit unfair to start you then, so I started a little bit later when you asked me the question. So, okay. So um, I am now going to put, put this account for you to receive paragraph one for information. All those in favour? All those against? All those abstaining? Thank you. It's there for... 55, four, and one abstention. Thank you. Um, paragraph two is for information. Proposed to adopt social value more effectively within council procurement activity. Does the council agree to receive paragraph two for information? Thank you. Item eight is a report from the Joint Pensions Committee on the Pension Regulator Review and Local Pension Board Annual Report, paper number 2046. Are those recommendations agreed? <laughs> Item 9 is report from the Standards Committee on the proposed procedure of hearings under the Council's Code of Conduct for Members, paper number 2047. Are those recommendations agreed? <laughs> Item 10 is report of the Chief Executive on proposed changes to committee memberships, paper number 2069. Are those recommendations agreed? Well, thank you, councillors. That concludes the business of the evening. What, what are you looking at? Just at 10 o'clock. Just at 10 o'clock. Yeah, <laughs>